from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India's a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi Kurana and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity, culture and the developments happening in and around the world. Let's begin the show. A staple that never goes out of style. In India, milk is more than just a drink. Consumed hot or cold and in all seasons, the country's favourite refreshment and source of nourishment, milk, is a dietary delight for Indians across the country. From individuals producing their own milk to mega dairy cooperative brands catering to the calcium cravings of hundreds of millions of Indians, the Indian milk industry has emerged as the biggest and the best in the world. Let's take a look at the exponential growth journey of India's milk industry. Ankit Redu defied the conventional path and returned to his hometown, Jind, in the northern state of Haryana after completing his higher education from a renowned university in London. A torchbearer of the family legacy, sharing his entrepreneurial spirit with his father, Ankit assumed the role of second-generation custodian of Laksha Food, a private FMCG company. So I myself introduced some new distribution channels in our company. We, uh, earlier our distribution network used to be like we used to give uh, to one central distributor per city. Now we have changed the distribution to uh, retailers. The young CEO has prioritized profitability and aims to create more job opportunities on the back of innovative methods used to enhance milk production in the country. There are many individuals like him who have revolutionized the operational landscape of the Indian milk industry leading to its current status as the best in the world. Today, India's milk production surpasses that of the United States by 50% and is three times greater than that of China. India has emerged as the global leader in milk production. Formerly a milk-deficient country which would produce a little over 55 million tons of milk during a fiscal year in the 90s, India is now home to 23% of global milk production. Multiple factors including innovation, robust research, technological advancements and government support have enabled India to optimize her milk production. The local industry has started to be established. Today, the milk is being sold for 22 lakhs. The benefit of the milk is being sold खास करके जो ट्राइबल आदिवासी समाज के जो लोग हैं ढाई लाख महिलाएं हमारे साथ जुड़ी हुई है और उनका अच्छा प्रभाव होने के कारण अब हम महाराष्ट्र में कोल्हापुर तक गोवा तक हम दूध वहां पे संपादन कर रहे हैं द गवर्नमेंट कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज एंड मिल्क प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट्स इन द कंट्री आर एनकरेजिंग डेयरी फार्मर्स बाय प्रोवाइडिंग इजी लोन्स हाई मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग काउ ब्रीड्स and other technical assistance. Jilla Udiyok se di mera subsidy wala loan liya hai, 35 percent wala subsidy wala. Uske saar sumul dairy ka maine wo root ganga loan bhi liya, jo zero percent se sumul dairy se mila hai. Usse mere ko bhot acha profit mila hai. India, which produced 116 million tons of milk just a decade ago, has almost doubled her production capacity producing 221.1 million tons of milk in 2021 to 2022. In the world, if there is a dairy in the world, there is a lot of GDP in India, and it is a lot of more than 10,000,000,000 rupees in our dairy in the world. In this way, dairy is our earth-based system, एक मजबूत हिस्सा बनी है। सरात बेस शाकंतला बेन, a small dairy farmer, is a living example to the empowerment of women in India's dairy industry. 
Shakuntala, who has six cattle, has successfully established her business and is contributing to the larger picture of India's milk industry. Shakuntala and millions of others like her have been instrumental to India's dairy sector, who sell the milk they obtain from their animals. It has complemented their earnings from agricultural produce, which typically arrives just once during the annual harvesting cycle. मेरा पति गुजर गया और मेरे पास कोई और ये रास्ता नहीं था कोई का, काम करने के लिए तो मैंने सुमुल लेरी से एक गाय लिया और वो गाय एक से चार हो गई और इस, इससे मेरा गुजारा अच्छे से चल रहा है India, a country which produced 210 million tons of milk in 2020 to 2021, has now set her eyes on surpassing her own record by implementing the National Action Plan for Dairy Development. The plan aims to achieve a milk production target of 300 million tons by 2023 to 2024. It also aims to enhance the per capita milk availability from 440 grams per day in 2022 to 592 grams per day by 2023 to 2024. The action plan is the result of great government efforts, coupled with high ambitions of the individuals and industry players that have kept the Indian milk industry thriving. The milk consumption levels of the country have witnessed a substantial rise from 214 grams per day in 2000 to almost double to 427 grams per day. The harmonious cooperation and healthy competition between various stakeholders, along with effective policy formation at the center, has resulted in India achieving the current standing of the best in the global dairy market. And the rousing slogans of Har Har Mahadev across the valley of Anantanag district in Jammu and Kashmir are more of a hint that the much-awaited annual Amarnath Yatra has finally begun. To make the Yatra worthwhile for the Hindu devotees, the whole of Kashmir, regardless of their religions, has come forward to celebrate the Amarnath Yatra, an annual fest of culture and spirituality. The locals welcome the pilgrims with open arms and shard them with flowers upon their arrival. Let's take a look. Situated at an altitude of 3,888 meters in the Pahalgam Tehsil of the Anantanag district of Jammu and Kashmir, the cave of Baba Amarnath holds a significant place in the hearts of Hindu devotees. More than a lakh people embark on their journey every year on the occasion of the annual Amarnath Yatra chanting Harar Mahadev in unison. The devotees receive a heartfelt welcome from the local Kashmiris who not only extend their arms and support but also make their journey smooth by providing any help to pilgrims required during the journey. The most awaited 62-day Amarnath Yatra was commenced on July 1st. And this year, a bigger footfall is being seen compared to previous years. ये यात्रा साल में एक बार होती है तो ये मान के चलिए कि कश्मीरी भाइयों से और बहनों से हमारे को मिलने का मौका मिलता है एक नई संस्कृति मैं खुद अभी परसों कश्मीर किसी के घर में रुका था तो मुझे अच्छा लगा उन्होंने इतना मतलब हॉस्टेज किया मुझे इतना बढ़िया बकायदा कश्मीरी कहवा भी पिलाया तो देखो ये सबसे बड़ी बात है सर पहले जत्ते में आ रहे बाबा बर्फानी की पूरी पूरी कृपा है मौसम कितना अच्छा है सुहावना मौसम है कल तो बरसात हुई थी हल्की फुल्की बट आज ऐसा मजा आ रहा है कि मतलब देख रहे लोग बागों का हजूम जा रहा है पूरा पूरा कई हजार लोग जा रहे हैं बाबा बर्फानी के दर्शनों के लिए और पहली बार बालटाल से चढ़ रहे हैं दूसरी बारी हम पहली दूसरी बारी यात्रा कर रहे हैं हम बाबा बर्फानी के दर्शनों के लिए कश्मीर सबसे पहले तो ये कहना चाहूँगा जन्नत है कश्मीर तो धरती पे ऐसा सुहावना मौसम और ऐसी वादियाँ देखने को कहीं नहीं मिलती बाकी कश्मीर के लोग बहुत सपोर्ट करते हैं और अपने बी एस वाले लोग भी बहुत ज़्यादा सिक्योरिटी दे रहे हैं और मेरा दूसरी बार ये तो मतलब मज़ा आ रहा है पूरा और यहाँ लोगों ने लंगर लगा रखे हैं उसके लिए उनका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद पीपल इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देर कम्युनिटीज फेथ एंड बिलीव कम फोर्ट इन सपोर्ट फॉर द पिलक्रिम्स पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट रिलीजन ऑफर गार्लेंस ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड ऑथेंटिक कश्मीरी शॉल्स टू द पिलक्रिम्स एज अ वेलकम जेस्टर ऑन दे अराइवल 
आपने खुद देखा ये तो हमने सबको दिल की अमीर तरीन गहराइयों से मैं नहीं यहाँ पूरे शहर के जितने भी सारे लोग वो निकल कर आए इसमें अलग अलग तबके के लोग हैं वो सारे निकल कर आए माए माए बहने नौजवान बुजुर्ग और जो हमारी कश्मीरियत है उस कश्मीरियत को मद्देनजर रखते हुए हमने श्री अमरनाथ जी यात्री के जो भी सारे यात्री थे उनको यहाँ से तय दिल से हमने यहाँ पर उनका खैर मकदम किया वेलकम किया Surrounded by snowy mountains the temple of Baba Amarnath is situated in a rather rough terrain area Despite all the possible hindrances the devotees endeavor to bow their heads at the holy shrine of Baba Barfani for the fulfillment of their wishes Many devotees seek transport to make their journey a little easier though they are only available for a certain distance The rest pilgrims have to cover barefoot. The cave of Baba Barfani is also believed to be the home of the Hindu deity Mahamaya and is often considered one of the 51 Shakti Peethas in the Indian subcontinent. The track pe jo ki 32.5 km ka hai pehlgam access ka ek pura elaborate arrangement kiya gaya hai chahe wo medical arrangements ke hawale se kyunki kuch track unchai pe hai तो रास्ते में माउंटेन रेस्क्यू टीम्स यात्रीगण की सहूलियत के लिए रास्ते में बहुत सारे पड़ाव आते हैं उनमें खाने का इंतज़ाम सैनिटेशन फैसिलिटीज़ वो सभी का इंतज़ाम पूरा किया गया है The locals coming from different faiths and backgrounds help make the journey of pilgrims to the cave of Barfani Baba a smooth and hassle-free experience. Their good deeds are the testament of India's cultural diversity and the amicable nature of Indian citizens. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Maruti Suzuki, India's biggest automaker, is looking to break into the premium car segment with its new seven-seater as a growing number of buyers opt for bigger, feature-packed cars. Maruti, known for small and compact cars that are mostly priced below one million rupees, launched the Invicto seven-seater with a hybrid powertrain starting from around 2.5 million rupees. The company aims to raise its brand image and enter a segment. which sees rapid growth as the purchasing power of indian car buyers increases as per chief executive of the company hisashi takeuchi maruti made its name as a mass market car brand offering affordable prices and low maintenance costs when it comes to premium cars or those typically priced above 2 million rupees buyers in india tend to turn to the likes of toyota motor or Volkswagen according to the market analyst India's Queen of Hills Shimla City organized a 9 day book fair with an objective to develop reading habits among the youth the national book fair provided readers with around 23 publications across the country displaying over 2 lakh 30000 books of various genres The book lovers at the fair preferred the hard covers as they say it provided them a sense of imagination and creativity. The book fair attracted not only avid book lovers but local visitors too resulting in a tremendous response. Well the welcoming culture of India has always been its speciality. The land of India has inspired many saints and philosophers for centuries who seek to understand spiritualism and religion in their true sense. Following the footsteps of these great saints, people irrespective of their religious identities come forward to celebrate and rejoice all the festivals of India. The birth anniversary of the 6th guru in Sikhism Guru Har Gobind was one such occasion when locals in Kashmir thronged to the Chhati Patshahi Gurudwara in Old Srinagar to celebrate and pay their tributes to the Sikh guru. Let's take a look. In the Renavari area of Old Srinagar city, devotees in large numbers gathered on the holy occasion of the birth anniversary of the 6th guru in Sikhism Guru Har Gobind Singh. Devotees regardless of their religious beliefs come here to pay their tribute at the Chhati Patshahi Gurudwara. 
the festivity exemplifies the harmony and brotherhood among different communities and glorifies Har Gobind Singh's adage, the world is one family. The function held at Gurudwara witnessed an atmosphere of love and cooperation between both the Sikh and Muslim communities as they came to bow their heads at the shrine. Today, Guru Hargobind Sam is the Guru Sikh Jagat, the Sikh Masab. Today, his power is his power. He has come to the world. Because in the Guru Sikh Guru Sikh Jagat, 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 Guru Sikh जीदान दे पक्तीलान हर सुलेन मिलान जाई जो गुरु हरबिन साहब दुनिया में आए हम उन्होंने वायुरु के साथ जोड़ा है सब रोहानियत भक्षिय सब और सब को भला करने के लिए सब को हुकुम किया है कि आप सब का भला करें और वायुरु का नाम लेकर अल्लाह की बात करें मुसलमान मिला जो भी मिला जिस मजहब से व्यवस्था गुरु ने उनको the teachings of Sikh Gurus are regarded crucial for peace and harmony among different communities residing in Kashmir. The four doors of the Gurudwara reflect the beliefs that everyone, regardless of their faith, are welcome here. Apart from being a holy place to offer prayers and do meditation, many other public functions like satsang, kirtans and marriages are also performed in the Gurudwara. Refreshments and meals are served in the premises after prayers are offered. Kashmir ka bhai chara bhoot achha communal harmony exists kar rhi hai. Humare musulman bhaiyon ki madad se hi yeh sab ho paara hai. Government ne apni puri force yaan pe depute kari hoi hai. Or unhoi pura discipline, law and order maintain kar ke rakha hua hai. So that ki koi bhi aasi waasi chaos yaan mess jaisi situation na ho. To unke without our muslim friends yeh to possible nikha. So they are really cooperating. Yeh communal harmony exists kar rhi hai. Pahle se bhi exists kar rhi hai. Yeh aage bhi kare ghi. Kyunki upar bhagwan bhai guru kudha sabka eka ek sura jaya sabka liye brabar jadta hai. To they all are helping us. So, the Muslim community was this time full cooperation. We know that love is life, hatred is death. As long as the person is a human being, his knowledge is increased. His work is more easy than his work. So, this is what the Guru Gobind Sahib gives us the message of Sikhism. It's a message of brotherhood, the message of love, humanity first. So, we should be able to exist in this way. We should be able to be disciplined. So, we should be able to give this message to our community. Because, brother, you should follow your religion. You should follow your religion. दूसरे के रिलेशन को इक्वली रिस्पेक्ट करो। हर साल की तरह मैं यहाँ पे छठी पांच छह आता हूँ। हमारे जो सिख समुदाय के भाई बहन हैं, उनके साथ टाइम स्पेंड करने के लिए और आप देख सकते हैं कितनी बारी तादाद में यहाँ पे लोगों की शमूलियत और शिक्षित है। और हमारा जो शहर श्रीनगर का सिंक्रेटिक कल्चर है, उसका उसके कीदत में कितने लोग यहाँ पे आए हैं। ब्रदरहुड हमेशा बहुत से अच्छा रहा है। हमारी डीएनए में ब्रदरहुड है, हमारी डीएनए में एमिटी है, हमारी डीएनए में सेक्युलरिज्म और इंशाल्लाह ताला आने वाला कल भी वैसा ही पीसफुल और मुस्तकबिल भी हमारा रोशन रहेगा। The teachings of Guru Har Gobind Singh Sahib still reverberate in the masses of Kashmir. His positive teachings and lessons of peace and harmony among different communities are followed religiously by his devotees. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Twelve countries in Africa are to receive 18 million doses of the malaria vaccine over the next two years, expanding access to nine countries that were previously not on the list. The World Health Organization announced the move in partnership with UNICEF and the Global Vaccine Alliance Gavi. Malaria kills nearly half a million children each year under the age of five. The WHO says in 2021, Africa accounted for about 95% of global malaria cases and 96% of deaths. The RTSS vaccine is the world's first approved malaria shot. 1.7 million children in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi have been given the vaccine since 2019 as part of a pilot program. The new batch of shots is expected to roll out early next year in Benin, 
Burkina Faso, Burundi, Cameroon, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Liberia, Niger, Sierra Leone, and Uganda. The WHO says at least 28 African countries have expressed interest in receiving the vaccine and that if a second malaria vaccine that's currently under review is successful, it could provide additional supply in the short term. Sphere, one of Las Vegas' upcoming venues, put on a trial run of its optics ahead of its official opening in September. The exterior of the venue with over 5,80,000 square feet of LED lights lit up the Vega skyline, changing from a blood moon to a rendition of the US flag. In September, the venue hopes to be the home of numerous attractions from star performances and sports events through to cinematic experiences. The creators say it's the world's largest spherical structure at 157 meters wide and 111 meters tall and will be able to have 17,600 people seated with a further 20,000 standing. Scotland marked the coronation of King Charles and his wife Camilla with a grand procession and a service of thanksgiving at St Giles Cathedral where he was presented with the honours of Scotland, Britain's oldest crown jewels. Dame Catherine Granger DBE bore the Elizabeth sword, the Lord Justice Clerk Lady Durian carried the spectre and the Duke of Hamilton presented the new king with the crown. Charles and Camilla were crowned in London's Westminster Abbey in May in front of about 100 world leaders in Britain's biggest ceremonial event for seven decades. The 74-year-old succeeded his mother as monarch of the United Kingdom and 14 other realms when Queen Elizabeth died in September. The Savan is considered the most auspicious month in the Hindu lunar calendar, as the month ushers in with showers and rains, bringing relief from the summer heat. The devout people of India indulge in prayers and offerings at Shiv temples. The month of Savan is dedicated to the Lord Shiva, who is believed to be the supreme god of creation and universal transformation. Let's take a look at how the festivities of Savan are celebrated across the country. In India, the holy month of Savan, also called Shravan, is considered the most auspicious month in the Hindu lunar calendar. After 19 years, Savan will be celebrated for two months which is Adhik Mas, an extra month often known as Malmas. Savan is dedicated to Shiva, the lord of creation and universal transformation among the Hindu trinity. Devotees observe a rigorous fasting ritual known as the Savan Vrat during this month to seek the blessings and grace of Lord Shiva. Savan Mas Uttam is why it is told that the Pava is leaving his own kailash and leaving his own kailash for his own kailash. This is the reason you have seen that they get in the form of kailash, they get in the form of kailash, they get in the form of चार और तरफ बाबा बोलेनाथ अपने भक्तों के लिए आसपास ही रहते हैं। इस बार दो श्रावण मास हैं। दो श्रावण मास का मतलब है एक अधिक मास हो गया। दोनों भक्ति के लिए ही हैं। श्रावण is a holy month that is dedicated to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Devotees flock to temples in parts of northern India to offer prayers and took holy dips in the Ganga River. People offer milk, water, bilva leaves and many other holy items on shivlings. It is believed that anyone who worships Lord Shiva with a whole heart in Savan gets all their desires fulfilled. Every year, Savan has 4 or 5 Somar ke shingar. And this year, we have been here for 9 shingar in Savan. As much as we have been here, we have been here for 9 shingar. 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 और अलग अलग तरह की सजावट जो आपको देखने को मिलेगी
Due to the prevalence of the extra month of Malmas, there will be eight Savan Somvar Vrats observed this year instead of the traditional four. Savan Vrat, which involves abstaining from certain foods and maintaining a disciplined lifestyle, is observed by both men and women of all ages. I have come to the temple of God. My great pleasure is that I have come to the temple of God in the month of Savan. As per Hindu traditions, Shravan is the fifth holy month of the lunar calendar. This month is associated with Lord Shiva and it is believed that praying to Lord Shiva during this period helps bring luck and prosperity in the lives. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.nin.com. I'm your host, Lipak Shikurana, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.